Shots and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gag. You want us to look anywhere in particular? L.A. Noir takes place guy. in post-World War II Los Angeles. You start off as a street cop, but quickly work your way through the ranks of the department as you solve cases. As you continue to solve cases, you advance to homicide, vice, and eventually arson investigator. Each rank gives you a new partner who helps with the investigations, fights, and arrests. The first thing you'll notice is the massiveness that is L.A. Noir. Rockstar has successfully recreated a 1947 Los Angeles that is dark and gritty, but still has that Tinseltown charm. The sheer size and attention to detail put into the environment is remarkable and captivating. The cars, buildings, and music are all true to the era, making it easy to become immersed in this crime-stricken city. L.A. Noir utilizes a new technology called Motion Scan. This groundbreaking technology features 32 HD cameras surrounding the actor, allowing their actions and facial expressions to be captured directly into the game. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. While this high-res 3D recreation of the face is pretty to look at, it serves an even bigger purpose in the game. Much of L.A. Noir revolves around an interrogation system that relies on recognizing whether a person is telling the truth or lying about their facial expressions and body gestures. Noticing the slightest eye shift could determine whether you believe a suspect or catch them in a lie. While it can be frustrating trying to distinguish the difference, it definitely is a unique, fun feature that wouldn't be possible without motion scan. Their necks are so fragile. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. Although the interrogation system is a fun feature, there's ultimately no penalty for selecting the wrong choice. While making the wrong choice may lead to a different path, often longer, the final outcome remains the same. The only benefit to making the correct choice is an increase in experience earned, which allows you to unlock new outfits or gain intuition points which can be spent during an interrogation or while investigating a crime scene. Herein lies the problem with L.A. Noir. To put it simply, it's too easy. There is no penalty for wrong choices or missing clues along the way. And there is no real motivating drive to interrogate a suspect correctly, unless you consider avoiding being chewed out by the chief a motivator. Aside from the repetitive investigation and interrogation that takes place, each case usually requires some form of gameplay action. This action is usually in the form of a car chase, foot chase, hand-to-hand -hand fight, or shootout. The entire game is basically spoon-fed to you. The clues are clearly marked at the crime scene, and the ones that aren't easy to find are made easy with controller vibrations. The action sequences require virtually no skill. All the jumping, stair climbing, and pole sliding is done for you. You simply have to move towards the object and it performs the action. L.A. Noir is very story-driven, relying heavily on the acting and the script rather than the action gameplay often found in typical Rockstar titles. Here is where the game excels. With the cast of over 300 actors, L.A. Noir's performance is top-notch. In fact, the story, acting, and graphics are so compelling that it sometimes feels more like you're watching a movie than playing a game. L.A. Noir takes an old-school approach towards its storytelling. Its much slower approach, similar to older movies, is very melodic with a heavy emphasis on detail. It is that attention to detail that sets L.A. Noir apart from the other games and makes it an enjoyable game to play. Don't leave me singing this torch song.